there just like her. Get in a minute, will ya? No chance. Come on, I need you to give me an hand with some art. Why should I? Thought you and me were mates. Well, you thought wrong. Oh! Cheers for that. I took the rap for you when the Rosas raided the dog and gone. Yeah, only cos Callum told you to. Do you blame me? We both know what he's like. I can't believe the way he treated you. It's totally disrespectful. I hope you know that that had nothing to do with me. Truth is, I'm in trouble. I've got no one else to turn to. I really need you to do me a favour. I wouldn't ask if I want desperate, please. Just one little favour and then call it quits. I told you, Nick. Just back off, will you? Aiden was the one to get you out of this hole, and you sent him home with a flea in his ear. He was already going. I just made it easy for him, okay? I don't get you. I mean, why would you do that? Oh, just, Nick, grow up! It's over, okay? I give up. You know what? I'm getting really tired of this whole self destruct thing. I beg your pardon, what? You think this is some kind of game that I'm just watching my entire life being flushed down the pan? So do something about it. Oh. Let me talk to Aiden. Oh, why are you so desperate to save me? Does it make you feel all macho and strong? Oh, it isn't about me. Isn't it? I bet you love having a car crash girlfriend, don't you? Get over yourself, Carla. Why don't you grow up? You know, you can be as horrible as you like to me. You can push me away. But I tell you now, I'm here for the foreseeable. To get used to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <coughs> it's the lies that did me, I think. I can't stand liars. I went out with this bloke, Russ. Mm -hmm. One day he was lovely. Next, an absolute monster. Oh, well, there's a lot of it about. I gave him a roasting for being so moody, and he told me he had an evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've lived a sheltered life compared to you. <laughs> hey, haven't we all? But you see, I always thought that Andrea played a bit fast and loose with the truth, didn't she? She looked me in the face and swore blind. She hadn't touched that record. You can't take her back, you know. There's no trust anymore. You'd be watching her like a hawk. Mm. What mad lies will she be telling next? Nope. Sorry I'm late. I got abducted by aliens. <laughs> <laughs> She's not that bad. <laughs> hey, stop defending her. I'm sorry. Hey, you know what we should do? Open another bottle. Oh, apart from that, <laughs> me and you could be a vigilante hit squad. Come again. Avenge the unlucky in love. As your partner lied or cheated, we'll sort them out. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. You mean like... Weatherfield's answer to Charlie's Angels. Exactly. <laughs> a fabulous combination of sex appeal, martial arts, and wearing really nice trouser suits. <laughs> Except they're private investigators. <laughs> hey, a swift stiletto heel to the head. Doof! <laughs> Another one bites the dust. <laughs> I can see where you go over this. You might be onto something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, Bagsy, I'm uh, Farrah Fawcett. Oh, you could totally carry off that hair. <laughs> Glad you brought me here. Cause you, my love, are in deep trouble. <laughs> I'm just spoofing you. Listen, all this stuff with Callum, it's, it's really messed up. What are you telling me? He's like a rat when he's cornered. He gets vicious. So he really needs all these accusations to go away. Mm, I bet he does. That's why he needs you to tell the police that you were with him and me at the time watching Blade Runner on DVD. I've already said no. OK. That's cool. I totally respect your decision. I'll take you home in a minute. Just let me show you something first. Oh, yeah, yeah, me delivering drugs. No one cares. You're right, that's history. 
just stand in a sec. Believe me, this is something you're gonna wanna see. What's that supposed to be? Stop messing. Sorry, Sarah. Give Bethany a little wave. Hiya. Mum, <clears throat> what's he doing? What's wrong with her? Look at her. Spark out. Not a care in the world. Why is she not waking up? What have you done to her? Just give her a little something. I'll prove to the land a nod. I know it's wrong, but I think I prefer her like this. I can do anything I want to her. What happens next is up to you. Get yourself to the police station. Make a statement. I will, I promise. Stick to the story. You mention anything else and your mum gets it. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Now then. Oh, nice holiday. Um, oh, do you know, it's all been kicking up at work today. It's been a right palaver. Really? I mean, I'm not one to gossip, so I'll keep this strictly entre nous, but Carla's had a car we possessed. No way. Yeah, I mean, the shame of it. An actual bailey taking your car in broad daylight. I've been well, I mean, I wonder what's going on there. Well, you may well ask, but it sends out a message, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, it says, all is not as it seems. I'm pretending that everything's fine, but if you dig a little bit deeper, it's all fallen apart. That's Carla's words, not mine. Anyway, so Some we of them handbags are going to have to go. She must have at least five grand's worth. Five grand? You're joking. Yeah, some of them clothes are pretty pricey, you know? Quite fancy, that leather jacket. I wonder if she'd take a tenner for it. Ask her, Sal, dare you? Oh, she's a bit pale, isn't she? She's going to have that lovely skin, isn't she? All translucent and glowy. Yeah, she's just hungry. we best get her in. Is she peaky or is she always that pale? Well, she's not 100%. She's just got a bit of an ear infection, that's oh, all. They get all sorts of things at this age, don't they? Don't worry. She'll have bounced back by tea time. Come on. Why don't you just tell her the truth? There's nothing to tell. I don't want anyone to know anything until they have to. On the house. What's this? Get me drunk, make me sign the contract. Uh, now, why didn't I think about that? Sorry to see Carla in such a bad way. Yeah, uh, she's had a rough couple of years. You know, but with your help, I think she could turn things around. She loved the scrap pack in the day. Looks like she's got no fight left in her. You, you know better than to underestimate her. <sighs> she's asking for a serious amount of money. I'm not sure I want to risk it. I mean, you are sure this gambling thing's under control, aren't you? Uh, she had a meltdown. Gambling was part of it. I think she's over the worst. Uh, I don't know. Well, she just needs a bit of support, that's all. I need toast. Yeah. Be my guest. Maybe we should run away to sea. It was a very simple life aboard that Norwegian fishing boat. Just design a beard, siren sweaters, rolling fags. <laughs> All those big butch blokes, no women. <laughs> you could have taken a husband. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going for a route through your cupboards. <laughs> oh. Relationships are a complete waste of time. I thought me and Tony were for keeps. Same with me and Andrea. Mm. Right. I have found some ready-made rough puff pastry. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Knock up some pies? <laughs> <laughs> no. I am going to make some voodoo dolls of our exes and stick pins in them. Right. Sean's here for his shift. Can I come and play with you lot? I'm sorry, no, you can't join our club. What, the Drunken Lush Club? No. The Heartbroken. Losers in love. Yeah, because you're happily married. Happily yeah. Married. <laughs> so, come on, then. What is the secret to happy marriage? I just do as I'm told. <laughs> Sensible lad. Off you pop. Well, go on, then. <laughs> oh, listen. If I do leave you alone again, you're not going to do anything weird, are you? Like what? I don't know. A plunk in your underpants or something. <laughs> Blind man's buff in the buff. <laughs> Why have you got pastry? You're not drunk in charge of an oven, are you? 
Hey, when have you ever known me do any baking? When have you ever known me drunk? <laughs> we are making voodoo dolls of our exes, that's all. <laughs> I'm going, I'll get more sense out of noise. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> This is scary. Just think how your mum's feeling. And you're the only one who can help her. You may as well bite the bullet, kid. He always gets what he wants in the end. Do you remember what he told you? How they likely to forget, am I? And don't even think about blabbing. Believe me, it is not worth it. Things done and dusted. Why don't you go upstairs and play, Max? Okay. What's she doing here? She's meant to be working. I don't know. This place is like a doss house sometimes. Uh, well done today, Maxie. You were awesome. Uh, who's eating all the biscuits? Like, you lot are like a load of gannets. Yeah, that one. Max, it was great today. I mean, it must be so hard for him. Mm. It's just a relief knowing this whole nightmare's nearly over. You're too right. It's about time Callum got what we're coming to him. If you were me, would you invest? I need to know the truth now, Carla, because I can't afford to make a mistake. You know the best thing about this place? It's the workforce. Okay, they're extremely skilled. They're too gobby for their own good, but they can't half stitch knickers. And over the years, Aiden, I've built up a very good reputation for myself. Okay, I've got some decent contacts and clients and great suppliers. And what would I get for my ATK? 30%, like I said. <laughs> that was before I saw the books. 35. 40. OK, 40. You know what? Beside until you agreed to me having a beer fridge in the office and free hand balms for lunch. I might chuck in a free bag of crisps. And one of those tea ladies with the trolley. A tea urn, biscuit barrel, ping pong table dispatch. Oh, you don't want much, do you? Mm. OK. OK. About time. How long does it take to order some parts? Sorry, mate, I, I just got distracted. All right. What's wrong? Look. This is just between me and you, right? Hope's got a lump in her stomach. I mean, the doctor said it's nothing to worry about on that, but I Googled it. Oh, worst thing you can do. You yeah, know. Drive yourself mad. Well, she's got some more tests coming up on that. Look, until someone in a white coat tells you it's something to worry about, you best try and put it out your head. I know it's easier said than done. Yeah. Look, if you need time off, need to go anywhere, won't make do anything, I'm, I'm here for you. Tell me. Can I not keep here? I won't be any trouble. Oh, come up with me. We can top and tail if you like. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have left you alone with these two. Look at the state you. Don't blame me. Not me. We didn't pour it down his throat, you know. No. Right. <laughs> Give me a few minutes, and then I shall be good to go again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's like leaving the monkeys in charge of the bananas. <laughs> you getting a monkey? Oh, so I bought you home, shall I? Kiss me. No, because I'm married, <laughs> man. Come on. 
Sí, uh, wouldn't want to be here. Oh, night, night, Lloyd. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Bottle of champers, please. And the proper stuff under the sparkling wine because uh, you're paying, aren't you? I prefer a beer. Oh, you're still as common as muck. This one must need his head testing. He is signed on the dotted. Congratulations. Great news. Uh, on the house. Oh, I could get used to this. Mm. Hey, look, you won't regret it. This time next year, you'll be rolling in it. Take a seat. I'll bring it over. Thank you. You better make the most of this, because mm. as of tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock sharp, you're going to be grafting. And what for that? It's not just about the money, you know. I need somebody in that factory day by day to help me run it. And I know I've taken my eye off the ball, OK? But that stops right now. Fresh start. Fresh start? Do you want to get Lily or should I? Oh, I'll go. Can't get comfy anyway. Was it any wonder? Sitting all scrunched up with her, hogging the sofa. She must be very tired. Yeah, well, I don't care. Shift. I'm going to sort this. Oi! Oh, David! Sleeping beauty. Hey! Wakey, wakey. Oh. Ah. Oh. I feel really weird. Mm, tell us something we don't know. No, I feel like I want to throw up. Carly, quick, OK. No. I'll be OK. Thought you were meant to be at work. I was. I just felt really woozy and they sent me home. <laughs> Scat <Scapiver. sighs> Oh, how did the, um, thing with Max go? Good, yeah. Made a statement. Police said they're going to look into it. Do you know, I cannot wait until that low life's banged to rights. I mean, just knowing that Max will be rid of him once and for all. Hey, Kylie, do you reckon we should celebrate? Throw a party? I'll be doing flipping cartwheels once he's actually banged up, but until then... Good evening. You better not have hurt my mum. Shut it, you drama queen. Look, I've done what you said, so leave me alone. Leave us all alone. You're as thick as your mum, you. Have you learnt nothing? I'm the only one who can give out orders. I meant what I said, you know. Cross me again, who knows what I'll do. It's such a shame if your mum or your nan ended up like poor old Jason. Andrew, it's me. I'm getting used to talking to your answer machine. I'm dead, you know, aren't I? Do you know, I, I thought we had something, me and you. Oh, no, liar, liar, pants on fire. Miss you, babe. Miserable without you. Do you know what? I'm going for a kebab, and you can't stop me. I'm sorry about before, I was a total cow. Mm, cow and a half. Oh, harsh. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Totally at home with dysfunctional people. Look at my family. Crash course in weirdness. Is that what I am, dysfunctional? Amongst other things. Mm. Aidan said that you put in a good word, so I want you to know that I'm really grateful. If it wasn't for you, who knows? I think you may be my fairy godmother. <laughs> Fair enough. But I'm not wearing a tutu for anyone. Mm. Sports bra. Can't concentrate. Is it boring? No, it's not that. It's just. My eyes are looking at the words, but it's like they're not going in. I had to replace a dodgy gasket earlier. Must have done it a hundred times before, but I couldn't get it together. I don't want to do nothing either. Makes it worse. It'd be great if your head had an off switch. <laughs> I mean, if we're like this already, what are we going to be like if it is bad news? Well, it won't be. Are you feeling any better? Never slept like that in your life. Maybe you were fighting something nasty, eh? Maybe. More books, Fizz? No. 
Look, I've told you, orange juice has got no business in ruining perfectly good alcohol. There's more alcohol in a wine bum. We are celebrating, and this is a celebratory drink. Well, pace yourself, Gail. It's Lily's birthday party tomorrow. Whoa, blimey, what's up with you? Well, she's either strangling you or hugging you to death. <laughs> what have you done? Nothing. Mm, well, you must want something, then. I've been saving this since Christmas. Do you want a little drink? Three for two at Fresco's. Might crack open the twiglets in a minute. Uh, go easy. Don't want us getting overexcited, do you? Yeah, you should have seen Max at the police station today. Blown away by him, the what? But he's kids, innit? I mean, there's no mind games, they just tell the truth. Well, don't get carried away. Callum's not behind bars just yet. Yeah, soon will be. I just want a normal life. I mean, that's not too much to ask, is it? What sort of day did you have today, Mum? Well, you know, normal, borderline boring. That's what I want. A nice, easy, uneventful life. Yeah, and a Callum-free future. Absolutely. It's over. We're done. The village gather for the funeral tomorrow night at 7 in Emmerdale to the Lake District for more new travel guides. That's next. Or you can catch Arthur and George over on ITV Encore next. <laughs>